There are reports that Canelo Alvarez is going to fight Dimitri Bivol and Gennady Golovkin for our $85 million two-fight deal. Before I get into that, hit the thumbs up, sub the notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. With that being said, let's get into the video. So, I don't know how this fight deal can be possible. Because if Canelo goes up to 175, then the only way he could fight Triple G is Triple G going to move up to 168. Because I can't see Canelo going back to 160. If he goes back to 160 and he's not weight drained, then somebody really needs to start asking some questions. Because I can't see a guy who was acclimated at 168, who's fought at 175, who's teetered the line of going to cruiserweight up at 190, being able to make 160. I just don't think he can do it. So I don't, I don't even understand how Triple G plays into this unless it would be Triple G first and then Bibble, but even at that, I don't see how Canelo can go to 160. So, is Triple G planning on moving up in weight? That's my only question. Other than that, I like the Bibble fight. I think it's a very good fight. I've been saying for a very long time at this point, I don't know if anybody 168 or below can beat Canelo where he's at at the moment that he would have to go up to 175 to be tested. Now, I never thought he was going to talk about cruiserweight, but at 175, I think he can be tested there. I think Joe Smith Jr. would be his best bet because I think it's the most winnable fight for him, meaning that it's the most, excuse me, the least amount of risk that he would lose. But if he can beat Bivol, then that only leads to Better Beave, who I think is the most dangerous person for Canelo stylistically at that weight class. But I don't know. Like beating Bibble is going to be very hard for Canelo because he's a mover and he's got a very good jab. And although Canelo has improved greatly against movers, Bibble's going to be the biggest mover and the most technically skilled mover he's ever been in the ring with. So I don't know. I, I don't know how that fight plays out. I have to tip my hat to him if he fights Bebel because I think that's a much more dangerous fight than Andrade. I would love to see the Andrade fight just because Andrade tried to fight him at 154, tried to fight him at 160. But at the end of the day, I don't think Andrade stands a chance against Bebel. And then you have Charlo, who is saying that he'll come up in weight, although he hasn't came up in weight yet, wanting to fight Triple G. Hey, Triple G, what am I talking about? COVID, guys, my bad. Wanted to fight Canelo, but the problem here is I don't think Charlo stands a chance against Bevel either. So if he's really going to fight Demetrius Bevel, I think that is by far a much greater fight than any of these other fighters because I don't think any of these other fighters can go up to 175 and beat Bevel. So will Canelo take the $85 million deal? I do not know. That's what the rumor is. He may. He likes money. He likes payday. Payday. So maybe he's going to go get the payday. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But if Canelo can beat Bevel, I don't. I mean, you could have your feelings, but you got to put them up. You got to put them up there with some of the best who have ever been in the sport. If he could take a, a task like that.